Let's talk about the IRV36 Multimedia Center. We have one right here. And uh, turn it on and off. You'll obviously see the power button right there. Of course, also if you tap it, it will mute. Um, controlling the radio is pretty simple. Uh, for volume, you obviously have this volume knob. Turn everything up and down. To go through different stations, you can click this right here and it will scan. Now, if you prefer to do manual, you can push and hold. You'll see then it goes into manual mode and that will allow you to adjust it manually. Um, you, right underneath there, you will see two speaker zones. One of the things I really like about the IRV36 is if the zone is not active, it's red. You'll see when I push it, just like that, now the zone is active and then it turns blue. Uh, so I, I do like that. It's just a nice quick reference to know that you know, you're not playing music outside if you want to just listen to it inside uh, or vice versa. So I think that's, a, again, just a pretty neat feature. For Bluetooth, you simply click on Bluetooth like so. This one does have an NFC chip in it, so it is super simple and easy to connect to Bluetooth. You literally hit it right here. Search uh, on your phone and Bluetooth devices. You'll see it pop up. You click on it. Boom. You are connected. Don't have to worry about a code or anything complicated. Uh, it, it is really simple, which I like. Uh, again, we talked about the radio. That'll be your uh, AM, FM there. If you keep clicking it, you can go through the multiple different stations um, or, or, you know, FM 1, 2, 3, AM 1 and 2. Uh, underneath that will be your aux. So if you have like audio video cables connected to the back of it uh, or you can, if you uh, push and hold this for two seconds, it'll show you the time. If you push and hold for, I believe, six seconds, it will actually allow you to set the clock right from the device itself, uh, assuming that, you know, you don't have a remote. Underneath that is a USB. I believe this is five volt. Uh, it will charge small electronics, but fairly slowly. Then underneath that is your HDMI port. Now, um, the cool thing about this is, it, you know, it has the HDMI outlet on the back. So if your RV is hooked up with the HDMI cable like this one is, like so, you can mount your TV right here, plug this in, and if you don't have like a swing arm mount or anything, you never really have to get back behind the TV because you can take your Blu-ray player or gaming station, whatever it is, and just be able to plug it right into there. Another quick thing, if you ever do have to get to the back of this one just to, you know, again, kind of plug in different components, right on the sides is like a little finger hole, and this is magnetic. It actually pops off just like that. Same thing on the other side and you will see some face screws, just undo those, and that will allow you to get to the back of your multimedia center. And that's really all there is to the IRV36.